Hello Mundo! Today we explore a valley in the southern part of Switzerland in the Canton Tessin. It's called the Val Avona. Now we start in the last village of that valley. Uh, yeah, come with us and enjoy! This is the little museum of San Carlo in Valbavona. It's cute. The first village today in Val Bavona, that was San Carlo, which is in the end of the valley. We now came back to the fourth last village. There are several villages on the way. And this is Forolio. And Forolio is famous for the biggest waterfall in, in this valley, in Val Bavona and also in Val di Mancha. Ticino is famous for its Crotto. Crottos are restaurants that are in cozy stone houses, very old ones. Uh, these houses are called Rustico and they serve like the really local food and dishes. Um, if you're vegan, that's a tough thing to go, so you probably can only have salad because normally they have all these uh, bacons and cheese and all the local delicacies and local wine. Uh, if you are not vegan, we highly recommend you to go to this uh, Crotto behind me. That's La Froda in Forolio. It's very cozy, it's great to sit here, to relax, to have a meal or just to have a coffee or tea. Even as a vegan I can go there at least have a tea. And that's a really local experience and afterwards you can hike quickly to the waterfall which normally is in shade 
great in summer because it can be, get really hot here. Not so great now as we have October, it's a bit chilly because we are high in the mountains. But anyway, we will we'll go and have a look and take you with us. Another beautiful spot here in Val Bavona is the stone bridge. It's a very old bridge and when there is a lot of rain um, here there is danger of water coming up. So they say always when it's like thunderstorms and lots of rain is falling you should leave this area because it's really dangerous. But it's a beautiful place to be when it's sunny so let's go.
can hear me because it's quite noisy. So if you liked our vlog, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends and see you in the next one. Hola mundo!